Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4 The Room. When we last left off, we uh, found Eileen. Um, she was okay. Uh, and then we completed the rest of Hospital World. And we tried to bring Eileen back with us, but she did not come back with us. We returned, she did not. Also, our fan has fallen down. Which, well, you know, we're just used to shit getting broke. Let's put it that way. Uh, we've also got so much stuff. We've got some more rounds for the revolver, which is nice. We've got a holy cat. Like, I oh, I did say I was going to look these up, didn't I? But I got distracted with the misses, so I didn't. Oh, Saint Medallion. Let's put that back. We've still got that okay uh, put the bullets back you know I don't know about this paper cutting knife mm, I don't know do we want to keep the medallion on us and the candle I don't know Obviously, like, when you guys give me comment, I probably would have completed this game by the time you guys give me some more helpful tips. Uh, well, we'll put it back for now. Small key, you hold on to that. Now, do I want to swap this out for the axe? Like, no, nah, I think we'll hold on to it for now. All right, let's see if anything else has, like, happened around this place. Uh, well, we see all the blood in the tub. Blood. It's stained with blood, and it smells horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, of course, that is still blocked up still. Okay, so I guess nothing else has happened. Let's go back through the hole. There's nothing weird is going on in here, is it? The burner won't go on. Hmm. That's awkward. Right, well, let's go back then. Uh, yeah. And what we'll do... Oh, God. I wonder where we're going to come out this time. We're back here with Eileen, I guess. Yeah, it looks like her. Henry. Have you been here the whole time? Oh, bless her. Yeah, and I didn't see any hole either. You just disappeared all of a sudden. Shit. I can't stay here by myself. I'll be cursed. I know it. What am I gonna do? I might know a way to save you. Do you know about someone named Joseph? Yeah. He, he was the guy who lived in your apartment before you. I think he was a journalist or something. Interesting. But toward the end, he started acting really weird. Yeah, he was doing an investigation about a religious cult and a man named Walter Sullivan. I got this letter from him. He told me to go down, down into the deepest part of him, and to look for the ultimate truth. Let's do that. There must be something down there. Hmm, I guess so. Okay. I'll do it. You're the only chance I've got. 
Hmm, I guess so. So she's on, she's on about getting cursed. So does she know like something about this place? Uh oh, we're injured. Why are we in? I don't really want to go straight back. Uh, hang on. Why are we injured? <laughs> Can't get our health up. Why is our health not regening? What the fuck is going on in here? It's I'm getting a very bad feeling all over. Oh shit. Maybe I've been holding something that somehow weakened this. Maybe What the fuck does that mean? Oh shit, we're getting hurt. Do we need to use... A special candle with anti-spirit effects. It begins working shortly after being let in place down. Okay. I can't put it here. Can we... Oh. The bad feeling is getting weaker. It must be this candle. Uh. Okay, what the fuck was that? And now we're really injured. Uh, okay. Rattling windows. So, like, is our house getting possessed? Why? Yeah, we're definitely not healing. Which... Oh, man. I mean, I guess that's why we've been getting loads of health items. But... And that is also anti-spirit. Okay, so I guess weird shit's gonna start happening. How much health does this heal? Fuck all. They're really rare. At least they seem to be really rare. And they heal fuck all health. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Ah, uh, bollocks. Well, that's kind of pissed on our fireworks a little bit. So we can't heal. I, I, well, that's going to have to do for now. Like, is that a temporary thing? We're going to have to be way more bloody careful. I, yeah, I think I need to read up a few things uh, before I start. Uh, like getting too much further into this game just because I, I don't want to fuck myself over. You know, um, she's okay. I can't believe that we, uh, we don't get healed anymore. Man, that's, that's going to be heavy. I guess you don't appreciate something until you don't have it anymore. Fuck. Well, well, at least this place is like the same. Nothing's changed. I'm guessing we go through here with the key. Yeah, and that actually uses the key up. Ah, uh, bloody nurses. All right, Eileen. Can we like 
get these guys to thin out. No, they've kind of joined up. Are they actually coming? Yeah, I think they're coming to attack me. It's <laughs> so good. Eileen, stand back. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Considering, like, health is such a premium right now. And I think we're going to die. Oh, God, there's three nurses. Uh, you know... Okay. Oh, wow, there's loads of them. Yeah, this weapon is definitely not a good idea. Right, you know what? That's fine. I guess we're dead. So, what we're going to do... We are obviously going to load that. We're going... Maybe it's time to take the gun. Because... We can't really afford to get hit. Uh, so... Put those back, that back, that back. We'll keep the health on us. We're going to use that up in a minute. Uh, that's not going to cut it anymore. I don't know how far. Like, if I grab... Let's take... Let's take the gun. And the axe. Okay. I guess, yeah, I mean, I suppose it's a good thing that we've, like, got all this ammo to use. Uh, but... Shit. We're going to have to rethink this whole game. Unless this is just... Temporary, but... I don't know. I don't know, man. This has flipped everything on its fucking head, son. Um, the axe. I guess we can use the axe. Uh, like on singular enemies. But if there's more than one, we, yeah, we're going to have to use the gun now. Like. That's weird, man. That like like the whole dynamic of the game is now totally different. They're walking away. And we can't like hmm. if if I attack these with the axe. Yeah, they're going to just fall all the way. Oh no, no, no. They're not going to fall all the way down. So <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, the, the kind of do. All right, this is this works. It's not elegant, but it works. <laughs> I lean back this way, back this way, because they're gonna attack you, and that's bad. Yes, she's down. She's down. Right, and again, and again, and again, and again. She's still alive. Kill her. There we go. Come on. There we go. The axe has such a long wind-up, which is the only problem, but it is powerful, so there's that. And it does interrupt them as well, which is nice. Yes, Eileen, get in there. That's it, woman. Use your fists of feminine fury. Nice. Yeah, they don't stay down for long, though, do they? Right, let's go squish her before she gets back up. God damn it, she's getting back up. Yeah, they don't stay... D ouch, 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 ouch. Right, squish, 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 squish. There we go. One, and again, and again, and again, and again. Come on! Stand... They're really hard to hit. Like, because you got to hit them twice. But there's a cooldown. You can't just, like, double squish them. 
you've got to like squish him. Wait 10 seconds and then squish him again. Come on. There we go. Well, maybe 10 seconds is a stretch, but you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, this has just got a lot harder. Where the hell are we now? Walk softly and carry a big stick. Or if you don't have a big stick, carry an axe. Alright, come on, Eileen. Definitely going to have to look up keeping her safe as well. I mean, is she invincible? I don't know. But if we're going to try and aim for one of the good endings, we're going to have to... Ah, oh, there's a whole back. My leg hurts. Your leg hurts? Okay, well... What is... What is this I have no idea. I mean, like... <laughs> we've got a place we can go back now, but there's no point anymore in going back. Uh, I guess we'd drink our drink, just because we can. And I need to mute my phone. So, I mean, I guess we could use it to save the game, but uh, I don't really know if there's like any point, really. And this is a long ass, windy, twitchy, Silent Hill esque room. Oh, I can't leave Eileen all alone. Well, we weren't going to leave her alone. Now, this is one of those doors with that symbol on it. They've been locked off to us. Right, ready, Eileen. Grip that purse of yours. Or your handbag, I should say. What's that on the floor? I don't... Oh, there's another candle. I don't think that's anything. It's a weird texture. Okay, well, we'll grab... Yeah, we'll take the holy candle. That's cool. Uh... Wait. We're... We know where this is. We're back in the... Um... Ah, oh, monkeys. Could probably use my uh, zappy gun here, but I suppose I suppose that's fine. Do they take two hits? I wonder if Joseph is still alive. I have no idea, Eileen. But I mean, I guess we're gonna find out. Right, careful here, because these guys suck. And yeah, that is such a white. Oh, you're not dead. Come on, buddy. Come on. Damn boy. Sit down, I said. Squish. Alright, Eileen, we need to be careful with these suckers. Now, let's have a little look on the map. Uh, like. So, hang on, that's the way we came. And we've got a room there that we can go through. Okay. Right, let's take this sucker out. Come on, you big fucking bastard. Boom! Okay. Ah, I see. Not enough for you, huh? <laughs> oh, good. Eileen's just like slapping him to death with her bag. Nice. Nice work, Eileen. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Although you don't really get paid, so... You know. Do we need the coins? It's been like three weeks since I've been here. Actually, maybe longer. So I don't really remember like where we're going. Uh, I mean, I guess we can't go up here? No, we can't go up there because it's going the wrong way. But I shouldn't really stop us. Um, can we do anything with that now? 
All right, Eileen, this way. Remember, we've been here before. No, it wasn't you. It was Cynthia we were with before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know your leg hurts. Uh, hopefully, we will get out of this alive. Like, I'm certainly going to try my best, but... What the fuck? Is oh, okay. I'm sorry, matey. I'm sorry. Have a breather. Go on. There we go. Is that good? Ah, she's fine. That reminds me of Silent Hill 1 with James. He has to have a breather. Now, oh, man, I'm not looking forward to this because we had ghosts here. Maybe the candle keeps ghosts away. And we do have a sword that we can use. Okay, so this is where we actually lost Cynthia. Now, <laughs> now we we'll press on. Let's just check these again, just see if uh, there's like any new stuff in here. Oh, yeah, there is actually. So that. Uh, that was definitely worth coming back in. We got a health drink, which is great. We take that bad boy. What is a little bit on the annoying side is Eileen's handbag uh, is still taking up one of our item slots. That is a bit dickish. Ooh, we got squelchers. We got squelchers. Oh, wow. We got a lot of squelchers. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't think that would actually hit them. But here we go. Squish. All right, we've still got that hole there. I mean, the creepy like lady has disappeared. That was holding the coins. Shit, do we need the coins? Uh, what have we got on us? Hmm. There was somewhere in the train station, actually, that we needed to change. We needed to move the train carriage. There was a coin that we needed. There was another lockbox as well. But we needed something to open those, didn't we? Hmm... Alright, I'm going to go through here, and I, I'm going to start saving it more often because we don't have the luxury of just fucking regening our health, which is a massive pain in the fucking dick. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess beggars can't be choosers. Okay. There's no weird, like, oh, oh, hello. Oh, getting a very bad feeling all over. Uh, we better use a candle then. I was going to say there's no weird, creepy voodoo shit going on, but I guess there is. All right, so where do we put this then? Put it anywhere? Like, does, does that cure it? Is that, have I fucked that up? Am I supposed to put that candle in there with it? Didn't mention it. So, ah, oh. that's really annoying. 
Does that mean I've now got to use like another candle to get rid of that? I've only got one more. Let's wait for that to burn all the way down. Is that really how it works? Bloody footprints. Yeah, because that candle's almost gone. Come on. Burn those foul demons away. And why can I put the candle down if it's not going to affect it? <sighs> Hopefully that candle's not going to like set my fucking house on fire. Or some bullshit like that. Well, that's now burnt out. Yeah, so like... What do we... The bad feeling is getting... Yeah, it must be this candle. So, what? when some weird voodoo shit goes wrong with the house, we have to use the candle. But we have to put the candle where the weird voodoo shit is. Oh yeah, look how quick it burns down now. That's some serious shit. I don't know how rare these candles are going to be. So, like, have we just wasted one? One twenty-six minutes. Okay, so... It's a filthy envelope. There is a letter and a toy key inside. Mummy, I'll give you this, so please wake up soon. It's inside my toy train. Toy key. There's that. Yeah, there was that like plastic locked box, but it said like a thousand dollars or something on it. Um, there's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. Uh, I found two mysterious and powerful artifacts. Ah, here we go. This, this seems to be very effective for evading the ghost victims, the holy candle, and the saint medallion. Ah, yeah, we do have one of those medallions. Uh, not only are they effective against the ghost victims in the other world, they also prevent... They also seem to prevent them from invading my room. Just light the candle near where they're coming in, and its holy power is activated. The saint medallion seems to repel unholy energy when it's worn. I'm starting to gain some hope. Good to know. Very good to know. But I can't believe we wasted a candle, though. Is that really going to, like, bite us in the ass? Um, we've literally got, like, uh, less than three minutes left of this video. So, so what I'm going to do... Oh, we really don't have a lot of... Like, let's drop that back. I mean, we, we can, I suppose, leave our healing items here because we can always come back and um, heal up, you know. Uh, so, we got not many bullets. We've only got 12 for that. But we've got 140 pistol bullets, which I don't know if that's a lot. Got a lot of these as well, but... Um, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to save it, guys. I'm going to read a little bit about this game, because I, I don't know. Return from Subway World, second time. I don't know about these candles and these hauntings and these medallions. I'm going to read up a little bit about their use, just because, like, I mean, those candles, we've only encountered two in the entire game, and I've just fucking used one. So I don't know, like, is that a huge mistake? I can't believe you can waste them. You Like, I mean, I guess if you can waste them, maybe they're not that rare. And the whole thing with Eileen, is there something I should know about her? Do we get her extra weapons? I mean, what's going on with her? Is she now with us for the rest of the game? <gasps> oh, no. Is it going to be an Ashley situation? Hmm. 
Right, I'm going to do a little bit of reading. I'm not going to read anything that ruins the story or anything, but yeah, just get a little bit of hidden knowledge. Now, usually I like to listen to you guys, because you guys are really good at giving me tips without ruining the game, but as I said, I'm going to be so far ahead. Like, I, by the time you see this video, I probably would finish this game. But uh, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.